Setting up voting in a short stack campaign can be done in just a few steps. Start by adding an entry display widget to your campaign. The entry display widget will display a list of entries to be voted on. Select the list you would like displayed or create a new one by clicking Create New Entry Source. Once you've selected your list, there are a number of options that you'll need to configure. Display Options allows you to dictate how many entries will be displayed at a time. Keep in mind that the more entries displayed will slow down the load times for viewers. Under Filtering, choose whether you'd like to display all of the entries or only those that are approved. Entries can be approved in the Entries Manager. Filtering votes or points allows you to offer multiple rounds of voting. And if you're offering categories, you can filter by that as well. The Fields menu allows you to choose what will be displayed with each entry, both in the Entry Tile as well as in the Entry Pop-up, which is seen when the entry is clicked on. You'll want to make sure voting is enabled, but you can choose whether you'd like to display the vote count. You can also choose to enable voting between two specified dates. When configuring voting, it's important to decide how you would like to restrict votes by each voter. See an explanation of each voter restriction method in the description of this video. Then, decide how many times and how often you would like to allow each voter to vote. For extra security, enable the reCAPTCHA. Under text, customize the text that displays for each default label and error message. You can enable sharing on the entries and customize what will be seen when an entry is shared. Visibility settings can be configured to start and stop showing the entries altogether. The entries in the list you've selected will be displayed where your entry display widget has been placed in your campaign. If there are no entries in the list, you'll see no entries found.